We're here today at Cecil Bay Farms where we've installed the uh, first dairy feed F4500. The system here is designed to feed uh, 300 animals and that's about 15 tons of feed a day. It'll feed multiple feedings. Commonly we see dairymen feeding four times a day. This particular dairy here is feeding six times a day to their milk cows. The other thing that we can do here is uh, we run for about 18 hours before we need to charge it, which is ample time with the lithium batteries that are in it. This system is designed to uh, feed with either upright silos or we can bring feed into the mixer using the bunkers. The mixer itself, it's a 75 cubic foot all stainless steel including the uh, mixer itself. It's a vertical mixer. What's nice about that mixer too is if you take the covers off, it's on a three load cell system. You pull a pin, the thing can be easily flipped over and serviced if it had to be, then back down, put a pin in and away you go. The vertical mixer, it actually has got three speeds to it. The reason for the three speeds is when you get near the end and it's got to empty out or just to deliver the feed, we've got three options of speed to actually run that mixer. And also when it's actually doing the mix at the feed bunks or at the silos, uh, we've got that option with three different uh, speeds. That, that's a great feature we think that we have with the system. The other thing with the mixer is we can go right down to 100 kilograms. That's pretty low numbers. The reason that comes to play is as you're feeding multiple feedings and let's say you're feeding a heifer group or calves or whatever in that main barn where this thing would be running for example, you can actually go right down to 100 kilos. That's a pretty small mix to make it accurate for that group. The uh, mixer itself, it has a uh, magnet in it to catch form material as it's distributing out of the side of the mixer. And then when it goes to the delivery part, we don't rely on the mixer itself to deliver the feed. And we feel that with the conveyor that we have on it, we see that the feed is not being separated as it rolls out onto the feed area. So what we see there is we don't see any feed being separated as it would be spun out the side of the mixer. By having the belt conveyor just dropping it gently, we don't see that separation. A belt conveyor can go either direction depending on how your barn's laid out and the direction in which the robot's traveling. The uh, F4500, it runs with either a combination actually of electric and uh, DC electric and it runs with a hydraulic power pack. So the heavy work like the mixing and the conveyor, they run with the hydraulic. And then the wheels are actually driven with the DC motors and we can control the speed of it. We've got three different speeds in which it can drive around the barn. So let's say we're pushing feed, we could be running say at the middle speed, and then as we're traveling from location to location, we could be running at the higher speed. And then if we're actually doing the feeding, we could run at the lower speed, and that gives us a lot better opportunity to improve the delivery of the feed evenly down that feed rail. So that way you're not separating feed or you're not got a whole bunch in one spot. So we've got that advantage with the electric drive motors. And that, of course, the electric motors are being powered with that lithium battery. We've got two skirts on this machine and they're split, the one on the front and the one on the back. And the advantage of that is whoever's had a feed pusher, you know, going in a circle, you have the tendency of getting feed inside that skirt. The way we've got it split, we can be pushing feed forward, for example, but it's not going to collect any residue behind it because we've got the back one lifted up. The other advantage of that, of course, is by having them lifted front and back, we don't need them down all the time. We're only going to lower one or the other at the time that we're actually pushing the feed. That's a great advantage. When we talk about four or six times a day feeding, we're also pushing feed in between them intervals to keep that feed up to the cow. The feed pushing part of it is really just a combination of the feed mixer, which makes all one integrated machine. Just to talk a little bit about the navigation, what we've done is kind of take it to the next level. We're using a laser up at the top and with them lasers front and back, what we do is we map the barn with the computer to tell it where it is in the barn and because it knows the obstacles in the barn, what we have on the outside of this barn, you'll see these reflectors. So why we want reflectors instead of a solid wall, we've got curtains in this barn and it's going by the laser to, to read them reflectors. And once you go around the barn and you train it, it'll always travel in the same location or feed in different groups or decide when to lift the skirt or when to go to high speed and when to go to low speed, when to make a corner. All of them are done through navigation that we taught it by mapping the barn. And it's worked really, really well. 
Then on top of that, when it's navigating around the barn on its own, we, we've got these ultra sensors on it, and, and they're, they're similar to what you see today in the car. If somebody comes up behind you and the thing tells you, hey, there's a car behind you, we're using the same technology there. And what that does, if your child or your kid gets in front of it or there's something walks in front of it, it'll actually just stop, wait for that obstacle to leave or move, and then it just takes off again. And that's a really, really nice feature because this is a robotic system. You have to rely on that kind of safety, otherwise somebody's going to get hurt. One thing that uh, ties into that navigation too is um, we have a gyroscope. The gyroscope, what that does, we uh, monitor the revolutions of the wheel and we break it into a thousand or whatever pieces in a revolution. And we know where it's traveling and how it's traveling. Let's say it spins or something, okay? We know that it's spun, okay? But what we're doing with that wheel, um, gyroscope is we know where it is in the barn and how fast it's going and the positioning of it and so on. So it's just another way to tie in with the reflectors and the cameras on the top that are lasers. Just another way to make sure that this thing's moving safely around the barn.